Hey everyone, thanks for joining this quick video on how to create an EBCO trend canvas. This is part of our COVID series exploring new trends in the new normal, and we're really excited to show you how this works. So first, as you know, the world as we know it has been flipped upside down in a matter of months, and things that we traditionally could count on and all the certainties that we have have really shifted. But one thing that we know is that consumers have changed there's different government restrictions now. We've seen a lot of job loss and it's time for all of the industries and clients that we work with to start thinking about what does this mean for our industry? And that is why we are doing the two day COVID workshop to help support our clients and our client partners in outlining the most critical areas that they need to be paying attention to during this time. So one of the most important questions we are asking ourselves in this moment is how do we reframe our perspective to see new opportunities? And that is where the trend canvas comes in. So during our workshop session, we're going to examine the top industries at risk. We've seen that quarantine, shelter in place orders, and social distancing mandates have disrupted many industries. The top COVID-19 affected industries come from travel and leisure. So airlines, food service, hotels, likely most of the industries you've been seeing in the news. But we're also going to be talking about our clients that are some of them are doing well during this time. They're getting somewhat of a COVID bump just due to new shopping behaviors. We're going to be talking about companies that have moderate exposure when they're thinking about manufacturing. They're thinking about how this changes. All right, so how to create an EBCO trend canvas. This is what we will be going over in the workshop. There are four key parts. First, it's about drivers. This is where you outline the business's current challenges during the COVID crisis. We think about things like what are the biggest pain points? What are existing obstacles? What's happening with your consumers? Are there anything specific that's happening in your industry? What are those considerations that we need to take into account? Second, conduct an investigation across inputs that range from internal and external analysis. What are others doing? What type of technology are we seeing? What sort of new things are popping up from analogous and adjacent industries? We want to look at all of these different areas that would be critical to study. Third, we connect all of these dots and learnings and extract key platforms. And we do this, at least at EBCO, we do this through fractal thinking, which is identifying evidence and signals out in the market to paint a bigger picture. And that's what your teams will be doing to create these platforms. And finally, step four, it's thinking about the details of the platforms. What shifts are happening? And this is where we get to opportunities. Where were we? Where are we today? And where are we headed? And by understanding key details, key insights, key evidence from the market that points to the proper shift of where our industry is headed, it opens up a whole area of opportunity for us to lead and for us to think of new innovative solutions. So here's a preview of an EBCO trend campus. As Aaron mentioned, we're gonna cover the drivers. So looking at your business pain points and challenges that you're seeing right now, especially due to COVID, looking at consumer shifts that come out of the trend research that we share, which will also include investigation areas. So a lot of this will come from the trends that we share on day one, and then we'll also build on that on what makes sense from an analogous and adjacent perspective to your exact category, where we can glean opportunity spaces and also have cross learnings. Then we'll look at how these turn into hypothesized platform opportunity areas. And then finally, this will be translated into identified shifts that should be supported with concrete evidence and explored further with your team. So the trend canvas that you see here was hypothesized for a fine jewelry company. We looked at the pain points that they're dealing with, which includes things like no stores are open right now. When they do open, it's really going to be on them in order to drive cleanliness and hygiene measures. And they need a way to communicate with consumers that it is safe to try and find jewelry, that they are going above and beyond to make sure that everyone is safe during that process. And the challenge that they have is they're not sure exactly when they're going to open again. So in terms of consumer shifts and trends, we looked at trends in safety, cleanliness, social distancing, skepticism from consumers that companies are really going above and beyond to have their best interests at heart. And then also, what are we seeing in terms of touchless preferences and innovation? Then you can see in terms of trends, we would look at trends that we're seeing in other categories where they have to demonstrate potentially virtual try-ons, direct to consumer models. They have to think of new hygiene measures that they're gonna enact when retailers start to open. And the hypothesized platform areas that came out of this, we're looking at cleanliness and hygiene solutions and marketing, new material treatments that they might want to think about on their glass surfaces, on the counters, or actually on the jewelry themselves, or ways that they want to think about cleaning that product in between usage, as well as new touchless innovations when we think of service models where you have limited interaction with the sales associate. 
And then the shifts that we identified that actually fed into this, we're thinking about this idea that consumers have really moved from a place of wanting more naturals and non-toxics to wanting things that kill bacteria and viruses to also wanting really high service, especially in a category like fine jewelry, where service is usually seen as the standard of excellence to now thinking that distance is best. I don't want you know, close contact with the sales associate or with another human. And then also touching isn't sanitary, which is really flips the category on its head since most of it is through trial and actually seeing the jewelry, trying it on, feeling the materials. So this gives you a good sense of how we created one. Of course, this is just an example. We would wanna filter this through your category's perspective during the session. So there you have it, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope to see you on the two-day trend and innovation sessions that we're having later this week. Thanks. Bye.